Hey everyone, Tara Melton here from Magnet Forensics. Today we're going to be talking about the Zoom application, which has become an extremely popular way of communicating in recent times. Recently added into Magnet Axiom was the support of Zoom artifacts, including from Windows systems as well as both iOS and Android mobile platforms. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. You can see here in Axiom Examine, I've already processed Zoom data from my mobile devices. I also have a Windows device loaded in as well, which I'm going to discuss in more detail shortly. I'm going to switch over to the artifacts view and then very quickly I'm going to go ahead and filter on just my mobile devices and under the chat category you can see that we have zoom channels we have chat messages uh, and you can see those get threaded together uh, in the preview there on the right hand side and then we also have contacts I'm going to filter on just my Windows device now and again, under the chat category, you can see that we have messages, you can see them over here, and another good way to look at that is by switching to conversation view, and you, you can see again that they get threaded together. I'm going to switch back over to column view, and we also have Zoom user account data. Now keep in mind though that this user account data is going to be encrypted, and we'll need some additional steps to decrypt this data when processing, so I'm going to walk you through what that looks like really quick. I'm going to go up to the process menu and say add new evidence to this case and that's going to open Axiom process so that I can add a new evidence item and I'm going to go ahead and load my Windows evidence source so I'll go to computer Windows load and then image and in this case it's just a zip file containing a few files and folders where the zoom data is being parsed from from a Windows system and go ahead and hit next and rename this to just zoom uh, Windows decrypted this is the same evidence source I have already loaded in. I'm just going to go ahead and show you what it looks like when the password is put in. So under the artifacts, I'm going to go ahead and clear all of them and just select for that Zoom artifact. And you can see that there's the option to input additional data. So when I click that options link, it's going to prompt me for the Windows user password. So in this case, it's just 1234. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in and hit OK and I'll go ahead and analyze this. And I'll let processing kick off and once it's finished hop over to examine and see what that decrypted data looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and open examine and make sure I say load new results. And once I do you can see that data was uh, that new evidence source was loaded in so if I click view evidence for this source only it's gonna take me over to the artifacts view filtered on that particular evidence item. And when I look at the Zoom user accounts, you can see that it's now decrypted. We're able to see all of that data. Hopefully these new artifacts will be beneficial in your examinations. Please feel free to reach out with any feedback or comments. Thanks, everyone.